The Oscars may be nearly two months away, but the anticipation for the annual celebration of cinema and celebrities is already heating up. On the heels of the SAG Award nominations on January 12th and a plethora of Craft Guild nominations since then, the DGA, PGA, and WGA released their nominations for their respective specialties. Aside from artists honoring their peers for their work, these nominations also serve as important bellwethers for the Academy Award. For instance, the DJ winner has gone on to win the Best Director Academy Award 64 out of 72 years both groups have been in existence. The most recent divergence was 2019, when Sam Mendes, the DJ winner for 1917, lost out to Bong Joon-ho for Parasite. Similarly, the PGA and WGA winners usually dictate which film will triumph in those categories at the Oscars. Belfast. Licorice Pizza. The Power of the Dog. West Side Story. The DGA is typically more friendly to foreign language filmmakers than the Academy, so there was some speculation Ryasuki Hamaguchi, director of one of 2021's most acclaimed films Drive My Car, could sneak in. Alas, the DGA stuck with the expected five nominees, all of whom have been nominated before. Campion is a widely admired filmmaker, having helmed such modern classics as 1993's The Piano and 2013's Top of the Lake, so shall be the one to beat for this honor and the Best Director Oscar. Being the Ricardos. Belfast. Don't Look Up. King Richard. Licorice Pizza. The Power of the Dog. Tick, Tick Boom. West Side Story. Expected nominees No Time to Die and Spider-Man No Way Home didn't make the cut, which significantly dampens the possibility of those films earning a surprise Best Picture nomination. There's no obvious frontrunner among the nominees like last year's Nomadland, with passionate support split between Belfast, Coda, The Power of the Dog, and West Side Story. Being the Ricardos. Don't Look Up. The French Dispatch. King Richard. Licorice Pizza. Nightmare Alley. Tick, tick, boom. West Side Story. While most of these nominations were expected, three Oscar frontrunners were ineligible due to the Guild's complicated guidelines for award consideration. As a result, the writing categories are less reliable predictors than other Guilds, allowing under-the-radar movies like Nightmare Alley and Tick, Tick, Boom to be recognized.